In this video we are going to complete example 2 and we're going to look at the money you can save by having solar panels on your roof. Now Grant has a 10 kilowatt solar system on his roof. Now what does that mean? Because really we want to talk about kilowatt hours not kilowatts and to figure out the number of kilowatt hours you get out of this it, it can be quite difficult because it depends on whether it's a cloudy day, how much sun you had, whether it's winter or whether it's summer. When I went on the internet I found out that a 10 kilowatt system can provide anywhere from 29 to 46 kilowatt hours of energy per day depending on the weather of course. So next it says that his electricity provider charges him 26 cents per kilowatt of energy used. So let's write that in dollars so it's 0 0.26 dollars per kilowatt hour but they also pay him they pay him 11.1 cents per kilowatt hour of solar energy that goes back to the grid. So anything that he doesn't use goes back to the grid and they will pay him 0.111 dollars per kilowatt hour. So of course the electricity company is going to pay you less for electricity than what they are going to charge you. Anyway, let's get into question A. How much will he have to pay the energy provider on a day where he uses 41 kilowatt hours of energy? assuming the solar system produced 32 kilowatt hours of energy that day. So he used more than what the solar panels generated. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract them. He used 41 and the solar panels saved him 32. 41 minus 32 is 9. So he's only going to get charged for the 9 kilowatt hours used here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 9 and multiply it by the charge of 26 cents or by 0 0.26 dollars. I don't think that's going to be a lot of money. Let's check it out. 9 times 0 0.26 equals $2.34. So he gets charged $2.34 for that day's electricity usage. Question B says how much money did he save in part A due to the solar system? Well, let's see how much he would have got charged if he didn't have solar panels. So he used 41 kilowatt hours without the solar panels. That's what he would have been charged for. So what's 41 times 0.26? 41 times 0.26 gives us $10.66. So if he didn't have the solar channels, he solar panels, sorry, he would have got charged over $10. So how much money did he save? Well, let's just subtract the two amounts. Let's subtract from the $10.66 the amount of money that he actually got charged, $2.34. Bringing up our calculator, minus the 2.34 gives us $8.32. So we saved $8.32, which over a period of three months can be quite a lot of money. We have two more examples we're going to look at, part C and part D now. So next it says, how much money will he get from the energy provider if he uses only 21 kilowatt hours of energy in a day, assuming the solar system produced 32 kilowatt hours of energy that day? So he's actually used less than what the solar panels have generated. So once again, we're going to subtract them. So we're going to go 32 minus 21 which gives us 11 kilowatt hours, which went back to the grid. So he's going to make money off this. Remembering that when it goes back to the grid, they're going to give you 11.1 .1 cents or 0.111 dollars per kilowatt hour. So we're going to multiply these together. We're going to multiply the number of kilowatt hours by the amount of money he gets back. 11 times 0.111. 11 times 0.111 equals and we get a dollar and 22 cents we don't need the extra one there so he's going to get a dollar 22 cents given back to him not a lot of money but hey it's better than paying money let's now look at question d how much money did he save in part c due to the solar system well let's look at how much he would have got charged if he didn't have the solar panels he used 21 kilowatt hours and we know that they charge 26 cents per kilowatt hour or 0.26 dollars.
per kilowatt hour. So let's multiply these together, 21 times 0 0.26. Let's see, uh, 21 times 0.26 equals $5.46. So he would have been charged $5.46, but instead of that, he didn't have to pay it at all, and in fact, they gave him some money back. So if we're really going to look at how much money he saved, we need to take the money he would have got charged, that's his savings, he saved that money, as well as we need to add on the extra money he got, the $1.22. So $5.46 plus $1.22 equals $6.68. So he really saved $6.68. And 68 cents. Anyway, that concludes example two. Remember to read the description below for links to theory booklets that relate to this video.